Hello and welcome to the show. We start today with a garbage truck because uh, why not? This was made in the content creator because it was easier spawning the vehicles up here than lifting them up with a helicopter and the content creator actually had the right vehicles in it for once which was nice. That's why I don't normally use it because there's only so many vehicles. Um, that's also why there is annoying music in the background that I cannot turn off. I tried my hardest. I can't get rid of it. Uh, and there is the UI. I can't, again, I've tried. Can't get rid of that. Now, I was expecting the, the garbage truck to be the worst imaginable vehicle for driving down here. I really expected it to be rather terrible. I've had a few large trucks drive down here and they just don't stop. The garbage truck should be one of the heaviest as well, I would imagine. It is a huge, great big thing. However, on my first attempt, I very nearly made it all the way down to the bottom. Had a little bit of a problem on the land of the jump. Couldn't quite correct it in time and we go soaring off down the mountain and I might have slightly forgotten what way to steer to stop it from rolling over. Nearly did a barrel roll with uh, <laughs> with the truck. Um, yeah, okay, I didn't actually make it to the bottom on the first attempt and I also got it a bit stuck. However, this was remarkably easy. This was remarkably easy to drive, far easier than it should have been. My main uh, problem area was this bit. It did not like the landing of the jump particularly. I got a big slide going on. I thought perhaps, maybe I could save it. I just couldn't quite get it stopped in time. With the bigger vehicles, that final, that final little run can be a little bit tricky because this is so wide. Uh, it fills most of that track, which means if you get a tiny bit out of shape, you'll be clipping the inside bank and that'll put you up on two wheels and it'll cause problems and you will fall off like, basically like that. Um, yeah, there, there was still the occasional silly moment from me forgetting just how wide the truck was and that's, that's not how you take the first part. On, on the most part, for the first few attempts, I had no, no issues at all with that opening section. Normally one of the trickiest sections, especially with a truck like this trying to get it stopped, I didn't have any problems. Um, or almost no problems apart from that one that you saw where I misjudged its width. Um, may have got shot, the AI may have been shooting at me a, a little bit when I started my uh, what would turn out to be my clean run. The brakes on this are, okay they're not amazing, they're not supercar good, but they, they stop it, which is surprising. You could be fairly late on the brakes with this truck and it would still stop for a corner, which I wasn't expecting that. I would, of, of all the sort of the very large, sort of overly large vehicles for this kind of thing, this has been the, by far the best on the brakes. And I don't think it should be. It's, it's, a, it's a huge vehicle. It's very heavy, I would imagine. Um, and it gets stopped really well. It handles pretty damn well. It does have a, a bit of a problem in that it's got a very long overhang at the back that does get caught on the floor and can get caught on edges. Somehow it makes it around the hairpin. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, quite how it does that. The handbrake is actually quite useful on this for just turning it. Well, I'm not sure why that is. I know none of this is making very much sense. However, the handbrake was actually quite effective again. It turned around the hairpin, which is why it could do it, despite being very, very long. And again, round here, wasn't really any problems. No, this is not a very fast accelerating vehicle, and that might make it a little bit easier to drive than some because it just lacks speed. And the back of the truck getting caught in the floor does also slow it down, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, that jump, I just can't get enough speed up to really get a clean landing. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of time is lost there. Run slightly wide, uh, not going to really lose too much time uh, doing that. Then it was the, the scary jump. This time I got the landing correctly. We didn't go bouncing around. Everything was going to plan. And then you got to be a little bit slower down here than then I would ideally like. I would like to push the vehicle more through this section. Problem is you just can't. If you're going fast and you clip that inside bank with a vehicle this tall, you're going to have a problem. So I got through the second to last corner and it's around the final corner for the garbage truck. It was a lot simpler driving this down here than I expected. I couldn't stop it after the jump and we go sailing off and may have rolled it and then parked it and got it completely wedged. I don't think I've ever wedged a vehicle so completely on GTA. It is, it's stuck. It is not going anywhere whatsoever. I'm trying to steer to shake it off. I was trying forward and reverse. It doesn't work. It is well and truly wedged at the bottom of the mountain, but it made it there and it was very, very easy to drive really. Uh, up next we have an armoured car, the armoured truck from the game. I could have used this or I could have used a SWAT van. I chose to use this one just because I forgot about the SWAT van until uh, just before I started recording. Um, yeah, this is going to be 
an interesting one. It's a smaller vehicle than the garbage truck, a lot smaller. However, it is, they are very, very heavy. And the brakes, not good. Not good at all. Uh, I may have been thinking, oh, it'll be fine, I'll brake the same place as I did with the truck before. It doesn't work because this has terrible brakes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what should be heavier out of a garbage truck or an armoured car. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, however, this does not stop. This does not stop at all. I'd hoped the brakes might be a little bit better on this than they actually were. And I thought it might be sort of half decent down here. As it is, no. The brakes really don't work very well as it tumbled off uh, down the mountain. Once you got the hang of the brakes, though, it wasn't sort of too terrible. You just had to brake an awful lot earlier. Um, and I could kind of figure that out. It was this final section that was causing problems. Normally, it's the opening section with the cars. With the sports cars, with the road cars, they often have problems on that opening section. With these vehicles, it was the final one as we bounce along, on, still bouncing along on the nose <laughs> before eventually landing. It was the final, that final jump and then that little narrow pathway that was causing real problems for these vehicles. I think it's to do with the width of the, especially on the final pathway, it's to do with the width. Um, the jump, I'm not entirely sure why that one's being such a pain. Uh, the brakes also don't work very well when you're on two wheels doesn't help when you're coming into that corner on two wheels and then we tumble and roll and tumble and please land before falling off the edge there we go just uh, not a very clean landing we did land <laughs> before falling off the edge also looks very weird without the bonnet uh, especially with the weird sticky yuppie i don't know are they antennas aerials i don't know what they're supposed to be for uh, again don't go into a right hand or pointing left that's, that generally doesn't work when it comes to trying to drive a route fast. Um, yeah, I managed to park it completely the wrong direction, which is quite impressive. It would be a pain to reverse to spin that round. Um, yeah, that doesn't really help. Again, this, this jump was causing a little bit of problem on the landing. No, this is not the best handling of vehicle. Um, and you'll see how that small problem I had earlier on caused uh, catastrophic problems later on. For some reason, the camera got stuck. It got stuck at a very low angle, and then I go sort of sailing off down this little path. I can't fight the camera and try and fight the car at the same time. We were on two wheels. We nearly rolled it. We we're back on two wheels again. So nearly made the corner. I was really hoping I was going to make that corner uh, at the end. Just couldn't slow it down enough. I was I was a bit disappointed that uh, I couldn't have had that as the as the run because that was a spectacular final section. I w you wouldn't really have lost much time doing that. Uh, because I would only have been going to slow down that section anyway, so the fact that it was on two wheels on its side wouldn't have actually sort of been any slower. I did get a clean run with the, uh, the armoured car. It didn't take massively long either with this. You did have to adjust your braking. You had to brake a lot earlier with this car, and you had to do a lot more braking with it, because, yeah, it really did not get stopped as well as a garbage truck. And I realise that is a weird sentence to say that's probably never been said before. Uh, well, this is YouTube, it's probably been said somewhere. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how that garbage truck stopped so well compared to sort of its sort of similar vehicles, I guess. Uh, uh, who knows? Um, but, yeah, this, it was a little bit unmaneuverable, the armoured car. as uh, just yeah, sort of a bit unresponsive. I think it would probably be, it's a bit faster than the garbage truck. It's certainly, it's certainly smaller, so for some of the tighter sections, it was a little bit better. But yeah, it is not the best handling of vehicles. I had to be very, very careful on the brakes. You'll see I'm braking very early for a lot of these corners because I just can't. It's not so much that I can't take that corner fast, it's that I can't take this bit fast. There was a lot of kind of braking to be slow for the next corner on, if that, if that makes sense to you. Um, because when you're going down such a steep hill like this with a vehicle such as this, very very easy for it to kind of get carried away so you'll take one corner oh that'll be fine I, i've got enough grip i've got enough turning to get around here but then it's the corner after it where you've picked up so much speed the brakes aren't good enough to stop it and that's the problem with the downhill section that's coming up now i got the landing nicely that time down here you can go faster through this opening part through this first part i could go a lot faster with the armored car but i would never stop it further down because you'd have too much momentum and the brakes wouldn't be strong enough to stop it uh, with it going downhill so you have to be a, a little bit cautious down there also i got a random wheelie going on no idea what caused that <laughs> caused that i've never had a car bounce up there before or any vehicle bounce up there before and then it is across the line for the armored car and then we're going to do a roll because i can't stop it and there's going to be a tree and i'm going to land in almost exactly the same place i did with as <laughs> with the garbage truck didn't get the armored car stuck though it would still be drivable uh, however i got it to the bottom of the mountain not the easiest vehicle to drive but certainly not the hardest once you've got sort of adjusted to the brakes on this 
wasn't really that bad. It also helps that it's a little bit shorter than some of the some of the other trucks that I've driven down. Our third and final vehicle got shot at by a minigun. <laughs> That's one of the other problems with doing this, because I'm doing this in deathmatch so I can spawn in my vehicles and I can sort of get in the vehicle that I want to. Uh, there are <laughs> some some NPCs around when you when you're playing in test mode that may have shot may have shot my uh, VW camper. I think it's called a surfer on this game. Many bullets holes in the back windows gone and the bumpers slightly fallen off. I'm not sure if that's from a bullet or not. Didn't get the tyres though. That was the that was the good thing from that. Uh, they didn't take out the tyres, but it's a little bit broken, perhaps. Uh, it's always scary when you start off these getting into the getting into the vehicle uh, quickly and hoping they don't see you and they don't try and try and get to shoot you. First run was going rather smoothly, right up until the end. Uh, again, I had a problem on the same section this week. I don't know why. Um, I just clipped the inside bank and it threw it all out of shape. I couldn't get it turned in time to go down the go down the little path, smacked into a tree. We're doing some pirouettes and we will eventually, eventually get it stopped. Um, this is really not too bad of a car for off-road driving, which surprised me considering how low it is to the ground. If you look at it, yeah, I, it looks like it should. Well, it looks like it's a modified camper van because that's is very very low to the ground. This is just spawned in one. There's no no upgrades, nothing done to it apart from making it orange. Uh, as I, I get it a little bit wrong at that corner. Third attempt though, and I got a I got a clean run out of it. Yeah, it deals with the bumps a lot better than I think it should because it is a very very low low vehicle. It, it's it's a bit weird in my opinion anyway. It does have one weird trait that I've never seen in any other vehicle on GTA. When you slam on the brakes here, the, on, on this dirt road, I think it'll do it on some, on some sort of normal roads, the controller will start to vibrate and it makes the sounds of the wheels locking up. Now that's not really surprising when you slam on the brakes uh, on a dirt road as, as hard as you can, it probably should lock all of the wheels up. However, that doesn't normally affect any of the other cars. You can normally drive them fine. You can drive them like that, and the fact that the brakes are kind of locking up here, it doesn't really change anything. Not on this. When you slam the brakes on and you lock the brake, lock the wheels up, the vehicle just doesn't steer anymore, which is what it should do. That's Yeah, if you, if you lock the front wheels on a car, you're going to lose almost all of your steering, but it doesn't normally do that on GTA. I don't know why it's on this specific vehicle that it has that problem. Caught me out a few times because uh, I would just slam on the brakes as I would normally on GTA because it normally doesn't matter and it would just go straight on. So that took a couple of attempts um, to kind of get used to it. Uh, and by the end of this run, I'd kind of got the hang of it. Just have to be a little bit more careful. I mean, I'm used to doing that with the likes of Forza and stuff. Um, that's, that's drifting done fail race style uh, on two wheels. Uh, that's, that's how drifting should be done. I don't know how I got away with that. I was surprised to see it still moving uh, on the other side. I felt for sure that was going over. Um, but no, I somehow got away with it. And then it's just down down the final path. Not too bad in this. It's, it's back to sort of normal car width. Still almost managed uh, to get it on two wheels around the final corner. Yes, it is a bit bumpy for this vehicle. But it, it can handle the bumps surprisingly well. Around the last corner. And it's across the line for the surfer. Yeah, pretty solid off-road vehicle, this one. Not very fast, not very powerful, but didn't have any problems with the bumps. Just got to be a little bit careful with those brakes. It's, uh, yeah, a little bit odd. It'll take a bit of time, well, possibly a bit of time getting used to it, uh, driving that thing off-road, but it made it to the bottom very safely. Now it is on to the times, and it is a surfer that goes faster to the lot, not really surprising. Uh, sort of a second behind the Prius that went down in the rain. A little bit uh, quicker than a Futo. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. No, it's not the most amazing of vehicles. It's not particularly fast accelerating, but it handled the bumps very well. So yeah, I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised by that. The armored car beat the garbage truck again. That's not a massive surprise really. Uh, with a 150.6, it's going quicker than the truck with the trailer, despite the truck and trailer having to jump part of the course. And the garbage truck, I actually thought it might go a little bit quicker, considering it was fairly easy to drive, but then again, it is also a very, very slow vehicle. It would have lost quite a bit of the time at the hairpin, sorry, uh, because it is a, that's a very tight corner, and you can't really get a garbage truck around there particularly fast. However, that is it for today, so thank you very much for watching. As I said last week, this is going to be the final regular downhill chaos on GTA 5. There may still we may still come back to it for the odd episode. There may be some the odd challenge based around that that downhill route. And there is a DLC coming sometime in the near future with some more cars, so I may well put them down there at some point. However, this will be the last of the regular downhill chaoses on GTA 5. We will be moving on to something uh, slightly different next week. You shall see. Um, however, until next time, 
Goodbye. Bye.